Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we'll be creating a bowl. Simplified, nothing, you know, nothing crazy about it, but it's going to also elaborate on using simple primitives. And also from now on, I'm going to mainly refer to the uh, shortcut keys. Sometimes I'll refer to the uh, the regular the regular menu options depending on you know what we're doing. But for the most part, shortcut keys because it helps you know it help it'll help you work faster and access a lot you know in a, within a short amount of time. So with that said, we're going to start our tutorial. Um, I have screencast keys enabled so you can also follow along. And what we're going to do now, we're going to press the A key to select everything. And also I'll just, you know, say again, this is the default scene. This is what you will always start off with every time you you load blender up but with that being said we're going to press x which is your delete key and we're going to delete that by left clicking or pressing enter to confirm all right and in order to create this bowl we're going to um use a different primitive of course, you know, we're not going to use the uh, the the cylinder, but, you know, something that can more or less resemble a bowl would be a UV spear, UV spear, in my opinion. So we're going to bring that up by holding shift and pressing A under mesh. You're going to go to UV spear. And just like in the previous tutorial, um, we're going to edit the parameters before we even move the square, I mean, the, the sphere. But let me show you. Uh, keep this in mind right here. You see this? And once I press G to grab and move this around and click it, see, you don't have that option no more. And even if you do press F6, those options are gone. So you won't be able to edit the vertices or edit anything in advance if you've moved your, your model. So we're going to start all over by deleting this and we're gonna bring it back up with Shift A and we're going to select UV Sphere and you know, we can, we're going to change our segments to about, let me see if a, a decent number, I mean, 16, no, not 16, all right, uh, 12, because I've, tr I tried both 12 and 16, and 12 works pretty decent for me, all right, so now we got 12 segments and 12 rings. Now we're going to go into front ortho. Right now we're in a, a user defined um, rotation in 3D space. And we're going to press the one key to go into our front view. And also if you've forgotten again on how to rotate in 3D space, you just hold the scroll wheel you press it down and you just, you know, move your mouse in any direction that it gives you the 3D, you know, rotation. All right, so press the one key to go back into your front ortho. You're going to, of course, if you don't have it selected, you're gonna right click on your sphere. You're gonna press the G key and you're gonna press Z which is your Z axis, and you're going to press one, which will put it on your grid. 
All right. And so with that being said, zoom in. And remember what I showed you from before. You know, if you can't see your model on your numpad, press the period key and it'll automatic and it'll pretty much find your model. So now, next, what we're going to do, we're going to tab into edit mode. We want to deselect everything by pressing the A key. A key selects everything. And if you press it again, you deselect everything. And next, we're going to press Z for wireframe. And what we're going to do now is press the C key for your circular circle uh, selection. And you're going to left click and drag to select the following vertices. Just follow what I do right here in terms of you know your selection. Right about there. And when you finish, you're going to right click to confirm. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to press X, select vertices from your delete menu. And now you're going to press the Z key and you're going to rotate, rotate your camera. And now you have the bowl shape. Pretty simple and pretty fast, but I don't know about you, but the bowl is looking pretty skinny to me. So what I would, what I'm going to do next, I am going to go to our uh, modifiers panel. You're going to find that over here in your header. You're going to left click that under add mod this is where all your modifiers are located and you, as you can see here this is on our sphere and you're going to left click and you're going to ignore all this over here and you're going to just worry about going to generate and solidify all right so now it added a thickness to our model or you know like a yeah inner thickness now we're going to put in some some custom values for this. So let's say about we're not going to worry about offset. We're just going to worry about thickness. So let's see 0 0.0 0 0460. All right. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to apply this modifier and you're going to tab out of edit mode because you can't apply it in edit mode. See? Right here. So tab out. You're going to apply it now. Left click. And pretty much that's the bowl right there. Now, there's one other thing that uh, we want to do because we want to keep everything on quads so next we're going to get rid of all these triangles right here and all these triangles right here so what you're going to do you're going to control tab go into face mode press your C key for circle selection and, se and select the following rotate your screen with your scroll wheel you're going to press the circle selection and you're going to select the following. Next is what you're, what you're going to do is you're going to press the F key, which is going to convert all this into a face. See, so now it's a single face. And now before we do anything else, we're going to scale and let's see, let's say about, let's scale this about, um, let's, uh, okay, okay, I'll say about one. Scale it about, no, actually, cancel that. Scale about two. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna stick with one. So scale it up, oops. 
sometimes it looks like it's not doing anything from what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna rotate my camera. So scale it about one. I don't know why it's not changing. All right, I guess it's already at one. So let's say 1.5, no, scale 1.2, there we go. That's a, that's a decent value for both. So 1.2, and next we're going to do, we're going to connect all these edges, all these vertices together because this is a face and if we apply a subdivision uh, surface modifier, it's going to look really bad because it's trying to subdivide a face that has 24 vertices, no, 12 vertices. And matter of fact, I'll just show you. So let's apply it. And this is, if you click this little icon, it looks like a triangle. You click that for the finalize it and tab out of edit mode into object mode. And you, see, this is what I'm talking about. You have these little fan shaped triangles, which is not what you want. All right, so cancel your subdivision surface. You're going to press one on your numpad, zoom in some, and you're going to repeat this twice but just to let you know, we're going to right click a vertice and hold shift to, mo to select multiple vertices. And the key that we're going to be using to connect things is the J key. So press J to connect and you're going to connect the following vertices. Just follow what I do. Okay, so after doing that, we're going to do the exact same thing to the bottom. And if you want to access your bottom view, you're going to hold control and press seven, which is the opposite effect of top view. And we're going to select the following by right clicking and holding shift and pressing J to connect. All right, so go into your front view. And remember, if your model is off, you know, out of your view, remember on your numpad, press the period key and you'll recenter on your model. So now we got our model back into all quads. And if we now apply the subdivision surface, it looks very good now. But there's one thing that uh, that's wrong with our model, but you could go with how it looks right now. But for our tutorial, for the you know purposes of our tutorial, we're going to retain our information on the like rim of the, uh, the bowl. We want that to be a hard edge. And if you remember what we did on the, la on the previous tutorial with the cup, we made that hard edge on the uh, the ending parts. So let's do that real quick. Cancel your subdivision surface. Now tab into edit mode and just follow what I do. It's the same method. So control R, drag it up to there. Control R, right there. Control R right here and right here. Now apply tab out of edit mode, apply your modifier, and boom. Look at that. Oops. Look at that. Now you have a bowl, simple bowl tutorial. Crank it up to about three. And <laughs> now you, oops, I keep pressing it for some reason. Now you can kind of show off to your friends. Now you have a second object to your collection. And well, I hope this tutorial has taught you a lot. 
I mean, it's very simple, very simple stuff where, you know, when you're creating a simple object and as we go to further videos, we're definitely going to up, up it, crank it up a notch. But for now, you know, you, you've gotten the basics of two basic objects right now. And thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a lot out of this tutorial and look forward to the next one.